Hello everybody, it's Captain Thief with more desktop dungeons I want to get into. Gorgon. Not literally, just, you know, playing it. Okay. So, as I said earlier, I know Den of Danger is a normal dungeon, but I kind of sort of want to get all the classes, all the badges down on one dungeon. See what happens. I, I kind of already know what happens. I spoiled it for myself, but you know, still, I want to at least have one of them. Everything done. And it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, let's go and select. And we'll go ahead and hit Gorgon, but first let's look at it. Azure Body, plus 25% to starting physical resistance, kind of like Paladin. Minus 50% bonus damage, kind of like uh, Ninja. Sapphire Locks, naturally poisonous strikes. Petrifies enemies, starts with Indispol Glyph. Okay. And Amethyst Stare, Death Gaze effect deals unresistible damage upon attacking creatures with low health. Alright, Death Gaze. Finally, it's mine, guys, it's mine. Alright, well, I think that'll do pretty well. Um, just trying to think of what I want to take with me for my, uh, you know, item. Because, you know, everything here is kind of set in stone of what it offers me. This is the thing that changes mostly. Uh, the Witchlock Pendant, that's if I'm burning things. Which I am not opposed to doing. Uh, Dragon Shield? Dragon Shield kind of makes some sense. It's a good all-around item. Why not? Let's take the Dragon Shield. And you know, we'll, we'll save the Balanced Dagger Crutch for another day. Compression Seal, Attack Boosters, why not? And, uh, I guess a Shop Scroll. I know, Quest Items and Elite Items is really nice. I just don't think I need it that much for this. When I go to Vicious Gauntlet, I'll do that. And, let's go Black Market. Never know, might help. These two, because I have no idea how exactly to play Gorgon. And, uh, prepping a god, maybe? I kind of forgot already what, what she has. She starts with I'm a wall, I know that. She's a Gorgon, she turns things into stone. Duh. Um. No, it's in this wall. In this wall? In this wall, okay. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Well, the good news about this is that I can just, you know, prep again really quick. The, the time it took for me to prep the first time was just... All my indecisiveness and blah -de blah So let's go ahead and, you know, just buy things, or, you know, like I was doing. And let's go ahead and get this dragon shield. And let's get to the bin lore. And, you know, those two. Alright. Anything I'm not too keen on taking? Not really. I mean, I'm not too keen on taking this Fisher token. I will in a bit. You know, soon. Very soon. As for anything else, you know, I always go Perseverance, Badge, Bear Mace. I never really choose anything out of the other four categories. Really big sword, I think I could probably give some love to later. Later. Um, alright, that'll do. Go with Binlore, because if I'm going to be breaking walls, and you know, she's already got some physical resist, so she likes breaking walls, then I might as well do that. Ugh, please don't look at me. Alright, anyway. Oh, there's Binlor. Right there. Right there. And there's not a whole lot you can do to pee off Binlor either. So, boom. Let's just go ahead and, I don't know, break walls? Yeah, Binlor likes that. Let's find our first level two. Um, speaking of which, my death gaze is only 10%. Okay, well, at least any enemy I come across will die instantly when I get them down to 10%. Hello. Magic attacker. Uh, okay. Um, if I remember right, this is that exploding sign thingy. I might as well do it now. I mean, it doesn't really matter when I do it, but you know, having the compression seal would be nice. Let's uh, let's come back for that stuff later. In fact, I probably could have done that later, but you know, I, I want to make sure I was up to snuff on things. Let's use our excess mana to break walls. Why not? You know, Binlore should enjoy this. Okay. Plate mail. Oh, dang it. You know, and I had the really big sword there, too. If I equip both, I'll be double slow. Maybe the enemies get two strikes. I mean, you never know. <sighs> okay, anyway. Um, we're looking for another level two that's not him. Because, you know, he's just too much of a jerk at the moment. I'm sorry, I'm calling it as I sees it. Um, let's see who the... Uh, it's a dragon. Great. Just wonderful. I'm, I'm so happy for you. But, uh... 
I'm looking for another, a, a real level 2, guys. Come on. Oh, wait. Hang on. If I remember it, there was something about, you know, the Gorgon being... Um... Poison strike, petrifies it. Okay, poison. I gotta remember the poison. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here about being immune to death gaze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got five stacks of poison? No, five per level. Okay, well... Actually, that's still pretty darn good. Poison is awesome. I guess I could region fight this guy. The Indus Wallage would not really help. Let's see, what would I be putting my... What would I funnel my MP into? I don't know, but I feel like fighting this guy. I do. I really do. So, let's just go down here. Oh, well, here's a zombie. Well, the zombie's immune to poison. Thank you very much. So... All right, did I put on, yeah, five stacks of poison. Not bad, it's not bad. It's not as good as uh, an I feel sick though. Yeah, I can't out region fight him at this level of poison, sorry. So let's find some, oh, there's ammo wall. Let's find somebody else maybe. And I really might as well use the ammo wall to turn things into stone. Um. I'm thinking I'm going to make it this here snick snackety snake and I'll come back and you know break him open he'll be like a pinata full of money and okay I'm wasting time and stuff okay you know this isn't this is a normal dungeon it's actually kind of an easy dungeon I shouldn't be putting too much you know thought into this I really should have gotten stone form some time ago yeah it's just all around good to have so, level four. Okay, I'm not liking the, the enemy selection. I, I'm just going to say that right now. Not that I'm being sour about it or anything. But, you know, at least now I can get by these guys and stuff. Level threes. You know, I might just... Well, actually, he's a curse bearer, so I'm not too fantastic about that. Hey, actually, my natural physical resist is like... 18 because of the dragon shield plus 25 is 43 so you know this is actually pretty good for me I don't want to get cursed though because I'm gonna lose it not get angry lose it but you know just lose it lose it okay here's a snake only problem here is that he poisons and what does that mean for me it means a lot of things so give me a second maybe I'll just Maybe I'll just buy that rock heart. I'm going to be turning things to stone anyway. Let's, let's do that. Yeah, okay. So, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to smack him. Turn something to stone, get another stack of might, and smack him again. I don't think this is actually all that economical. But I think it's working a lot better than <laughs> against these, you know, level twos here. So, you know, we'll do it. We'll do it. And, uh, break this one. Not that I have too big of a deal about where things are going and stuff, but... Yeah, 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 exactly. And then we just come back and we finish them off. Okay, that's... that worked. That worked well for me. Level 2. I know, Ben Lore, I know. I don't know if I want to be pushing anybody. Or do I? Well, we can fight level 3s now. Can. Doesn't mean we have to. It's just an option that's on the table. Um... Oh, hey. One moment. I, I thought something was weird here. Is is this... Yeah, I did turn the snake into snow. Hang on. Okay. Well, he leaves blood behind. But he doesn't leave gold behind. That's too bad. I was kind of enjoying, you know, him leaving gold behind. Well, well. At least when I ammo wall them. I think they leave gold behind? I have no idea. Well, I have my bonus exp lined up for the next level so let's go ahead and do that okay smack break a wall why not uh yeah let's, let's do that whole thing i'm talking about and we get some health back smack him again and we'll break another wall just somewhere kind of random for you know fun and i'm thinking that my death gaze is killing him at this point so yay for that Okay, so when I kill them, they turn into stone. Well, he's not really in the way, so I don't really feel like breaking him down at the moment. We'll talk. We'll talk. Let's see. I haven't found the sub-dungeon yet. It's being kind of picky about me finding it. 
Yeah, especially with these indestructible walls. The tower shield. Probably not a bad item, but I'm going to be having plenty of physical resist as it is. In fact, with the tower shield, I can get it up to 53. Yeah. So, what am I going to shrink? Well, if I'm turning guys into stone, that means I could block myself in quite easily enough. So I think I may want to hang on to the Indus wall forever. But let's make it the dragon shield. Because I said so. And let's see. Smack. Break a wall. Smack. I can get him pretty down low. But can I get him down to that 10%? Because I think that gives me the first strike. Haha, <laughs> I like this plan. Um, let's have a quick look at that. Because we're going to be doing both might hits on him, okay? So, you know, 12, 12, 15. If I could just get that, you know, third hit in, I could definitely do this. Then again, I should probably be paying a bit more attention. And I don't know, turn somebody into stone. Zombie makes the most sense. And we'll just do a little bit of exploration. Just, just a tad. Just nothing that would hurt anybody. Now we have our, you know, bonus EXP. We can, like, strike him. I know, it sounds like we can, re we can regen fight him, but we can't because he's going to poison me. Yeah. Maybe what will make a difference is all the uh, health I'll get from this uh, I'm a wallet. So, I broke a wall already, didn't I? Yeah, I I've got the might on. Okay, well, let's just try it out. I know, mathing should be, you know, second nature or whatever, but let's just, you know, do it anyway. And since we're poisoning him too, I don't think it's that big of a, of a waste. Let's break another wall down. Oh, hey, we're pretty close to full piety. Good. That's very good. Especially since we're about to lose some. Uh, okay, now, now for the moment of truth. Do I get first strike for this? Yes, I do. Yeah. I don't know if I get first strike against uh, first strikers, though. Okay. What do I feel like buying? Well, stone skin is the best thing to buy if you want to maximize your magic resist. We don't even know who our boss is yet. Stone Fist makes some sense, but I don't really feel like it. You know, what I could do is I could buy this Indus Wall. It says free glyph, by the way, but it's not free. It costs 35 piety. It says so right there. And I could just buy the Indus Wall and recycle my current Indus Wall. You know, free 100 conversion points, in my opinion. So let's see. Is this true? Yeah, the one I, uh, one I came in with. And uh, that gave me 5% more death gaze. Cool. All right. And now we're, we're building up that percentage. You know, as a vampire earlier, I should have been paying more attention to this. But the fact of the matter is, I really do need to uh, pay more attention to my conversion bonuses. Because I could have made that dungeon a lot easier as a vampire. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, we're level 3. We can probably take on a level 5. I might as well, you know leave nobody alive so yeah I just killed a snake I'll grab these three okay this shouldn't be too hard then I come down and I break this guy open like a pinata come over here and um, I don't know where the mystery thing is so we're just gonna break that open hit him and then first strike yeah first strike your way to victory I know Ben Lord, but you gotta admit, I'm like one of your most fervent followers, the way I'm breaking all these walls down all by myself. Now it's a level four. With tons of resists. Maybe I could probably do this guy. Maybe. And it would help me check my first strike thingy. I don't know though, it's kinda of difficult to say. You know, two levels higher. I should be able to start doing that level four, but you know, goblins are tricky. Goblins are tricky. So let's see. What I'm thinking about doing is first let's uh let's turn this guy in stone. And then break him down. Wergarble. How you doing, Wergarble? Been a while. It's been a while. And some attack bonus, why not? It couldn't hurt to look at well, nah. It did hurt. Just a bit. 63, that's pretty close to the cap. I think we might stand a chance against this guy. We can at least kind of sort of region fight him with all this poison I'm not using. Each uh, strike should give me three tiles. Let's try it. Okay, well... Um, 
best get to it then. Especially since I'm loving the stuff I get. And I get right back to almost, you know, the cap. Okay, that's that's fine and dandy. Let's uh, get enough HP again. Alright, yeah, it looks like I get first strike? No, he's hitting me. Only for 15, mind you, but... Eh. How was I not living earlier? Oh, well. Plenty of EXP. Oh, right, he turned into stone. And I'm gonna mess myself up royally one day with this. I don't need to turn him into stone. In fact, he'll be a wall for Binlor to use. Alright, this is, Gorgon makes perfect sense with Binlor. So does Half Dragon. I'm really not sure what they were getting at with this. I was kind of hoping that, you know, Vampire would make perfect sense with Dracul, but you can't even do Dracul. Uh, I'm Super Meat Man. I got plenty of darkness left to fight you with. But first, let's turn somebody into stone. Yes, yes, I love saying that. I know. There we go. And let's get our MP back. Okay. So, on the region fight game, let's just go ahead and add 4 times 5 poison per strike. So, 20 damage to my hits. I'm doing 22 times 4 for my region score of 88. And then add 22, or 20 to that. 108 versus his 7 times 27. It seems like I'm not doing too bad, but I think that we're barely losing. I'm probably going to eat up way too much darkness fighting him. I don't know. This guy's going to take away all my MP. That's not nice of him. Not nice of him at all. Especially since, you know, he's doing magic attack. I don't have a whole huge slew of magic attack, alright? So, what am I doing? I could explore more. That's always an option. Nobody said it wasn't. Or maybe what I'll do is I can like, you know, kind of reach in, or level up, catapult his face. I think that's what I'll do. Smack. I think I'm gonna, you know, do this one first. And then come in for the smack. And then do another one. Just so that we have maximum resist of all hits. And kill him. Now I gotta be careful about this, you know, I only have to get 2 EXP, but I have to make sure whoever I'm killing is actually gonna give me all that EXP. Also, oh, okay, it's because of my EXP boost. Well, I guess that's gonna go to waste, isn't it? By level up catapulting him. Let's see, we got him up to 11 tiles. 11 tiles, that would fully heal me of both MP and HP. But would not fully heal him, heal him. I think I'm actually winning in this region game. Let's just keep this up. I always underwrite. Uh, okay, yeah, he's, he's still wounded. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about the last, you know, ten percent or whatever. Okay, I always, I always sell region fighting short because, in my opinion, I kind of sort of suck at it. But you know, let's just, let's just keep this up. I think we got something going here. And, uh, I might as well break something else down. Might as well be this guy to get to his money early. And then we'll just, you know, kill this guy. Wow, that's a lot of bonus EXP. Don't mind if I do. Oh, almost to the next level. Let's go ahead and break down where this meat man is sent. Oh, hey, these blood. I should have noticed that earlier, but you know me. You know me. So... I guess this guy makes sense. Oh, who am I going to turn to stone? I think I've eaten all my level ones. I know they were they were delicious. So you know we're just going to do it to that guy. A level six, please. And uh, just completely ignore that sound you just heard because it doesn't exist. Whoops! I did not mean to click that. Uh, okay. Well, this guy actually will not be too bad. We'll hit him. We'll break something down somewhere. I wouldn't mind looking for the secret sub dungeon, but you know, I think this I think this will work just fine. Then we'll walk all the way over here, break that down, come up here, and we can beat him. Cool. I know Binlor, I know. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Probably didn't need to break him down, but I just have this feeling that maybe it's a good idea. Okay. Now, I haven't been pick, picking up any of these potions. 
I'm kind of being careful with this because this is my very first try with Gorgon. I think I'm doing it right. I hope I'm doing it right. And, oh hey, level 2. You know, rather than killing him, I think I might just, you know, stone him. I'm kind of worried that I might have to kill another low level before then. Oh hey, I found the boss. Uh, let's spend some of our piety. On what, Captain? Well, Stone Fist is okay. It just is. It's going to break a lot of my walls, though. I don't know what our boss is. I don't. So I'm going to buy a Stone Skin. Completely useless for the physical resist part portion of it, but I did like, you know, getting some more magic resist. So there's that. There's that. And we can get some of our party back like this. Okay, this guy is totally on the, you know, magic resist side of things. If I can, I'd like to get 65% magic resist. And then probably just defeat him soundly and easily. It'll it'll go good. It'll go good on toast. Alright. Well, I guess we could probably just try and keep leveling. Yeah, that's definitely a thing we can do. Um, hi, Gorgon. I, I don't know if she can death gaze me. I don't really care to kill her yet either. So let's uh, let's keep this up. Um, let's just try and make bypassing ways. Oh hey, level eight. As for you, yeah. See, I just don't have enough magic resist. I think what I may end up doing is I might just you know spend this all on stone skin. Well, not all of it, but you know, very unhealthy amounts of it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really need it for the physical resist, guys. I'm one in this wall away from the cap. Or pretty darn close to the cap, anyway. And, uh, we still have plenty to go. We still have plenty of things to break down. Uh, let's break this down, thanks. Okay, how am I doing against you now? I haven't even gotten him to two-shot territory. Well, that's too bad. It's really too bad. Uh, well, there's a level one, at least. Whatever I'm killing, I want to have EXP boost. And I also want his money. Uh, you know, I really should be taking more advantage of shops. Especially since you now I have compression seals. I have this teeny tiny, uh, fine sword with me. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, base damage. Lots more damage. And that makes him three shotable. That's good. I could probably pick up the, you know, get in there and just finish him off that way. That's probably what I might just end up doing. Um, on that note, I haven't been using this wait what. I don't plan on using this wait what. Let's just wait what it and get 20% death gaze. Ho ho, I only have to get you down so far. Yes. Okay, and also I'm going to be hitting him with biceps, so I think we're fine. As much as I'm protesting to the contrary. Uh, actually, this level 9 is a lot more tempting. Yes, I think I might just kill him instead. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. And guess what? He's magic resist, but that doesn't mean he gets to stop my poison, because that's from my physical source. Yeah, that that's what I'm talking about. And then just kill him. Yeah. Okay, and as for you, I, I could. I could. But I don't really feel like it, so sorry. I'll turn you to stone, and then I'll break that stone. Sounds like an insult of some sort. Or maybe an empty Xbox Live threat? Who comes up with these sort of things? Not me, I can guarantee that. Uh, I would really like to find the other level 9, but I guess I'll fight this guy too. Just in case. 15 brings him down below the death gaze radius, yeah. So, works for me. And then I'll break the stone. Yeah, I make stone, I break stone. Binlor's happy both ways. And, uh, let's break this one down. Aha, maybe that's it. No. Maybe there isn't a second secret sub-dungeon. Maybe I'm just, you know, insane. Pissorf, I don't need Pissorf. I would like 25% death gaze, though. I'd be quaking my boots if I were you, Mr. Tormented One. Oh, here, here's the other level 9. That is going to mean I'm going to lose all my MP, though. I haven't found Burnderez yet. Hmm. I think this might go okay. 
Oh, right. I have... I... I didn't buy stone form yet, or whatever that is. Stone fist? Yeah. I don't know if I ever will. I mean, I've already kind of set myself up for this magic resist thing that I've got going on. And, you know, it's just the wrong part of summer. I, I just... I'm too busy with school at the moment. I'm sorry. Okay. So... Can I take him on? Actually, I probably could have if I knocked him into the stone. Yeah, that's, that's a thought. That's a thought. You know, every time I smack him, it's going to give me might too. So that's totally a thing. Well, before I do anything, let's uh, make this guy regret being born. I'm probably slinging around way too much MP at the moment, but, you know, I'm having fun with it too. So, no regrets. No regrets. Okay, two MP, thanks. Well, I think I, I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. It's giving me five percent magic resist anyway. It's it's adding on to my whole spiel. Okay, yeah, there we go. So now, what are we looking at? Yeah, exactly. I can two shot you now. I really might as well spend my MP before I do anything because I don't want to lose it yeah that's that's an idea and well actually he's undead so I can't poison him I don't think this will matter though because well guess what Boom! I win okay not bad level 8 46 percent I I could probably stand to break a few more walls especially this ugly one right here ha 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 and this this rock heart really makes this into wall in this wall economical it only costs five MP per cast that's good it's really good um I am starting to think I'm a little insane about the uh, finding the secret sub dungeon thing though I can get three more physical resist thingies that's gonna get me to 55 will that do it and he's still hitting pretty darn hard and you know all his physical resist that's kind of gonna be a problem maybe I'll spin it on because, you know, I'm going to be physicaling him. Maybe I should remove his physical resist with it. Let me have a look. It lowers his by five. So now, I, as long as I can use it several times. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll just keep this up then. I guess. I mean, I haven't even found burned rats. Doesn't it always spawn? I could have sworn it does. Well, there's Glowing Guardian. Uh... He hates poison. He's probably like the one deity that Gorgon should never go with, ever. Sorry, Glowing Guardian. Just saying it how it is. Saying it how it is. And I have all the money in the world. What, what am I spending it on? Uh, if I could find the... Actually, Bloody Sigil? It would probably be really nice to recycle. Yeah. And what else? Heroes Home? Nah. Witcher Lock Pendant? Eh. Tower shield? Well, no. I could also push him into his friend. That's doing a little bit of extra damage. Or I could push his friend into, well, he's going to just turn into stone and die instantly, so... No luck on that. Alright, well, um... Tell you what I will do. I'm going to break this wall here. And this wall here. And... Find out that there's nothing else down here that's really all that interesting. Maybe the Shadden for it will help me. I have space for it, right? Come on, get me off of that screen. I do. Okay, so I'll do that. Thanks. And do I have enough walls for all the stone hearts I want to do? I have a feeling that, you know, no. Let's see how many I can do anyway. Well, that's as many as I could do. That lowered his uh, resist a bit. I'm doing a bit more damage, just a bit. Just a, just a tad. Alright, well fine, if you want to play it like that. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just uncover... Oh wait, I can use my, you know, MP to turn things into stone. And, you know, that'll count as more walls, right? Um, I probably should keep these guys for EXP. But this is fun too. Alright, um, let's stop, you know, doing that. I'm not enjoying myself too much here. Alright. Broke them. Turned them into money. And, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. 
Let's just let's just kill him now. I'm I'm tired of that grinning face of his. Whatever I can get with uh you know, stone skin, that's what I should probably end up doing. Probably. It's a little risky doing this though. Looking for that secret sub dungeon. I uncover enough walls and you know I get in MP back and I wanna break down walls. So let's see, I've only got two. Three. Oh, there's burned your ass. Okay. Well, let's go and pick that up then. Actually, I probably shouldn't have because now I don't have room to buy things and convert them and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, burn. Burn. Uh, drink this. Smack him. Well, I'm mana burn, but guess what? It doesn't matter because I don't care. And then you're dead. Okay, now this is interesting. He should have turned into stone. And indeed, I do believe he did. I'll go ahead and turn him into stone. Yeah. Yeah, when I kill them, they'll turn into stone anyway. I shouldn't have armor walled them. What was I even thinking, guys? Oh, well. 55 magic resist. That can't be too big of a problem. I'm just going to see if this thing was even here in the first place. And there's that guy I killed. Sent him through a wall. And then he turned... Oh, there it is. Well, I will have you. You will be mine. Even though I had 5 MP, I need 6 MP to make this armor wall work. And this wall work. And it's these guys. Now, this is kind of interesting because, you know, I kill them and they turn into stone. Yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and, you know, do this. Okay, first strikers do get to hit me. And then level up. Yay! Okay, this... Well, you know, they're not dropping money because I, I killed them just regularly, okay? That's just how it is. They can stay statues. I I don't care. Let's go ahead and leave. Also, yeah, I didn't get to knock them back because they just died instantly. All right, cool. Very cool. Uh, anything here? No. Good. All right. Then that's my Gorgon run. Uh, 27 minutes. Probably 22 minutes too long, but you know, I want to make sure I did this right. And I think I did. I think. Uh, okay. Well, you know. There you go. Gorgon in a nutshell. Maybe. Uh, I can't really count on that because apparently I played Vampire slightly wrong. You can ask the cat about it. Well, actually, no. You, you can't, I can't ask the cat about it. He doesn't let people on his property anymore. Not since the war. So, uh, yeah. I, I really need to farm enemies that have blood. Yeah, it, it's kind of one of those things. But you let them live. It, it's a really intricate strategy. It's really awesome. You should try it. It'll... It'll get you. It'll help you lose weight. Yeah, that's a promise I can make. No, it's not. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one, and uh, you know, we're gonna do something awesome eventually. I promise.